are in the Discovery or the best car ever made or the Rattlebox or the Granny as me and a good friend like to call it so me and the Granny are heading towards the mountains for an adventure a small afternoon adventure as you might have guessed by now I really like these uh, short afternoon adventures especially when the weather is hot the trail we are going to do today is one that I wanted to do for a long time I was about to do it a month ago I missed the turn but today I won't miss the turn again we are going in the trail and we are going to see where it leads so stay tuned so before we get into the adventure I wanted to give you a short Land Rover tip so a few months ago I drove around Greece in this 300 TDI Discovery which is on 33 mud terrain tires and stock gearing there was a big heat wave in Greece so it was bloody hot more than 40 degrees in many occasions and not once did the 300 TDI overheat now these engines tend to be known for overheating but I think the reasons they're known for overheating is lack of maintenance and uh, lack of driving skills now I have changed everything in the cooling system but on top of that I drove this car carefully now to give you an example I am on a long uphill section right here with the AC turned on this is a high load situation now instead of being in fourth gear and doing roughly 2500 rpms I am in third gear and I try to keep the boost as low as possible so on uphill sections I drive with the boost gauge the lowest the boost the less stress the engine undergoes and the less of a likelihood you have to overheat it so if you do not have a boost gauge on your Land Rover get one on there and try to stress the engine less in warm weather and long uphill sections if you can get an EGT gauge as well to monitor those exhaust temperatures which can also be a very helpful thing to know if you're driving around loaded or in the mountains during the summer from the factory the 300 TDI runs roughly 0.9 bars of boost some of them run one bar they are all tuned a bit differently depending on the engine because obviously these are handmade vehicles so none of them are uh, identical to each other but yeah because of that I try to keep the engine under one bar uh, mine goes up to 1.3 because I tweak the wastegate but I only take it up there when I need to when I can get away with less throttle I always try to keep it between 0.7 to 1 bar of boost and it never has any issues we also have some cloud cover in the distance I'm not sure what's going on lately but every time I come to the mountains we get clouds and I'm really happy about that because I don't like the sun
I am in the trail. It seems like it's going to be a nice one. It's heading down towards a valley in between two mountains, which looks really beautiful. And I think it's going to end near a river that I really like. So if that is true, I think we are in for a good trail today. Let's get started and have a look at what we'll find. So as I was here trying to set up the camera, I stumbled across two mouflons, as you just saw. I think that's how you pronounce the word. If not, I apologize. But those are the national animals of Cyprus. They used to be endangered, but now we have plenty of them. And this is actually the first time I managed to capture them on camera. So it was a bit of a lucky shot.
So, a few videos ago, the, the video that I filmed with the incredible rain we received in August, I mentioned that in Cyprus we have really steep fire lanes and this is exactly what I meant. You could drive down this, but there is no way I will drive down this on my own, especially with the Discovery because the brakes aren't great. So, I have to turn around and find a different way. The trail didn't end up linking up at this spot that I thought it would. So yeah, I will have to turn around and see what I'll do. I can actually see the trail down there. So I might be able to get down to it through another road. It's like a jungle down here. Normally the river is flowing but we are at, at the end of summer still so we didn't get much rain yet and the river isn't flowing but it is very beautiful in here. This is one of my favorite places in the country actually. So it was a nice surprise that we accidentally ended down in here but yeah this is where i'm going to end this video the unknown trail wasn't the best trail i have done but it wasn't the worst one either so i shall call the day a success especially since we've ended up at one of my favorite locations thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one